are down here in Florida at BMP Performance with Justin Starkey and our 2018 manual GT. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun things with this car. We're gonna get it in on your dyno and do a lot of testing and tuning. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, America Muscle Videos. Let's head to the dyno. Let's go. We're about ready to do our stock dyno pull to get our baseline numbers for the manual GT. So we just loaded our first tune and we're about ready to run the car now and see what kind of power we get. So we just finished up a couple different runs with the manual with our first tune and what are you seeing? I think we're both pretty happy with this, right? When you're on the dyno, you want to run the vehicle in the one-to-one -one gear. Right. And in the 2018 Mustang with the manual trans, that's fourth gear. What exactly were our baseline numbers that we're comparing to and the after tune numbers? The baseline was 422 rear wheel horsepower in one run and 421 rear wheel horsepower in another run. And I mean, that's just awesome for a, a stock Mustang out of the factory. And we ended up seeing between 17 and 18 rear wheel horsepower gain and about eight to 10 foot pounds of torque gain. But the big thing is the area under the curve. We picked up power down low and up high. Right. If we zoom in here on the 3,000 RPM range, we actually gained 20 foot-pounds of torque. That is awesome. I'm very happy with that. So we just installed a PMAS cold air intake. We still have 93 octane in the tank. Justin uploaded a new tune for us, and we're going to run the car and see if we gain any horsepower with the PMAS. Run it. All right, so can you tell us what we've seen so far? We did more than one pull in fourth gear with the PMAS cold air intake installed, and it was very consistent, and we saw some pretty awesome gains. We just put out 450 rear wheel horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. Going back to our numbers with just the tune, we picked up about 16 to 17 rear wheel horsepower and about six to seven foot-pounds of torque. So over our baseline run, how much horsepower and how much torque have we gained? We're now up something like 32 to 33 rear wheel horsepower and about 14 to 16 foot pounds of torque over stock. What do you think this means for the new Coyote and the 2018 Mustang? You know, we're still learning a lot about the new dual fuel uh, Coyote and uh, it's turned out to be an awesome motor. Yeah, it, like you were saying, it looks like it really likes to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> such great results on 93 octane with the PMAS cold air intake that we figured we're here. Why not throw some E85 in the tank? So Justin's up there right now filling the car up. We're going to run the car on E85 and see what we get. Send it. Send it. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! See what we got. All right, I'm kind of nervous. 469 and 434 on E85, PMAS cold air intake, VMP performance tune. Pretty impressive. If it wasn't stupid to high five, I'd high five you. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so that's going to be a wrap on our VMP adventure with our manual 2018 Mustang. I have to say, this thing's come a long way since it first rolled up and hit this dyno, hasn't it? We baselined the car around 419, 420 rear wheel horsepower. I know the tuner in you is saying that there's more left in this car, but I'm pretty impressed with the final numbers that we got here today. Uh, I'm happy with them too. It, it made 469 rear wheel horsepower, 434 rear wheel torque, and that's as much as the GT350 makes. Right, with what, a cold air intake, a VMP tune, 
and E85. E85 in the tank. Yeah. It's as simple as that. The numbers we've gotten so far, the results, they're awesome. Um, we're definitely going to find more in the future as more tuning parameters become available and the software that we use, we're definitely going to find more, but I'm really happy with what we've gotten so far. Guys, if you don't want to miss out on anything Mustang related or any other cool Mustang content, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericaMuscle.com.